Hello, I'm Rhonda Church Fenfrock a Fruitful Life Studio, and I'm here today with this video called Waste Not. I will be demonstrating how I painted this entire banner without wasting one drop of paint. In fact, all the paint I used for this banner came from leftover paint from other projects I was working on, so stay tuned. For this project, I'm using a plain cotton banner. Here, I'm painting on some leftover water lily and bohemian blue. After each paint application, I spray down the piece really well so that the paint absorbs into the fibers. To build added texture for the background, each time I apply paint, I spritz it with water, then wad it up into a ball and put it into a Ziploc bag where I mist it again to keep it very moist. Stepping on the bag creates creases for added texture. I keep this banner handy in my studio, so whenever I have some leftover paint, it goes on the banner. Here you see me rolling on some leftover copper patina. Now it's time to make a decision. What am I going to paint on this amazing background? I decided to challenge myself with something new, so I'm painting some abstract flowers. I'm now building up the layers with some kissing booth. I'm using leftover cherry pick to brush my flowers with an abstract detail. I'm making progress, but there's still many layers and details to go. Now I'm using watered down leftover crinoline to create some delicate flowers, filling in some of the negative space. I'm using the same crinoline to add some highlighting to the flowers. Then I mist it down to soften the look. With some leftover DIY copper patina, I water it down just a bit and then fling it across my painting to give it a wow factor. I sealed this piece with a layer of Big Top Top Coat. Just when I thought I was done, I took a look and decided that the flowers were too matchy-matchy with the face, so I added just a bit of blue iris. Now that the painting is done, I bring out my trims. I chose one of my handmade tassels to coordinate with the banner. I audition my trims and tassels against the painting to find just the right look. Now it's time to dig through my beads and find some embellishments for my tassel. And lastly, I choose a charm to hang from the tassel. It's attention to detail, like adding a coordinating tassel that can make a piece special. I dug through my ribbon drawer and found just the right vintage silk ribbon in an olive hue. Here it is, my boho banner made from leftover DIY paint is finished. I hope I've inspired you today with what to do with your leftover DIY paint. But if you happen to run out, contact your local retailer or visit my website, fruitfullifestudio.com to have paint and DIY products delivered right to your door. Have a great day and happy creating.